Next question. 1.6. Scientists compare the number of differences in the amino acid sequence. Now, remember, when they're looking at the amino acid sequence, they're looking at the genetics. Okay? So they're looking at the genetics of it. So um, we're going to have to see how closely related species are. So that would be phylogenetics because you're looking at the phylums. But fewer differences in the amino acid sequences means that the species are more closely related. So less differences, the closer they are. Cytochrome C is a protein that occurs in many species. The amino acid sequence of this protein differs between species. The table below shows the number of differences in the amino acid sequence of the three species ABC. All right, so let's just have a look here. So there's species A, and the difference between A and B is 11. All right? And the difference between A and C is only 3. So there are very few here, but there are lots here, lots of differences. And then between species B and species C, there's also lots of differences. Okay, so what type of evidence for evolution is being used in this table? I've already told you, it's genetic evidence. They're looking at the genetic makeup and what the sequence of the DNA is. So, give the letter of the species ABC that should appear at positions 1, 2, and 3 in the diagram. Well, I can tell you now, was it B? B was completely different from A, and they were only a little bit different from, from C. So, um, this would be B. So, 3 would be B. Um, they were only a little bit different from C, so I'd put C there, and I would put A there. So, A and C are close, and B is completely different from them. Why? Because there are so many differences. And 1 and 2 definitely would have been A and C because they were quite closely related.